Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Bottom School Academy. My name is Mr. Lamb. I will be walking you through week 29 and day two of fourth grade mathematics. All right, so today we're going to try to understand how to calculate the areas of circles. Okay, so if you've got a big circle over there and they were to tell you what area does this circle occupy on your sheet of paper, on my board, or whatever, you're going to find um, how to calculate it. Well, there's a cute little formula that you're going to memorize real quickly if you want to learn how to do that. That is pi r squared. Okay, can you remember that? Pi r squared. You know, pi is going to be a mathematical constant that is 22 divided by 7. And then r is going to be the radius of the circle. All right, let's use this example to commit, to commit that to memory. All right, we're gonna commit this to memory. Let's do it, we can do it, we can do it. All right, all right, so let's go for it. So let's assume that we have this circle over here. This is a circle and he has a radius of five centimeters, right? And then there is a square over here, just all around the circle and this square is gonna be 20 centimeters long. Now, they wanna give us a big challenge right in here. They said, well, calculate the area of this shaded place. So this, the shaded place is gonna be this area all around the circle, but within the square. Okay, how are we gonna do that? Well, it's gonna be a two-step process, or maybe a three-step process. All right, you're gonna calculate the area of the square first, which the area of the square is gonna be equivalent to 12 centimeters multiplied by 12 centimeters. And when you do that again, you're gonna get 144 centimeters squared, okay? 144 centimeters squared. Then you're gonna go ahead and calculate the area of this circle over there. What's the area of the circle? Well, the area of the circle may be calculated by this formula that I was talking about just a few moments ago, and that's gonna be equivalent to pi r squared, okay? So your pi is a mathematical constant, which is equivalent to 22 divided by seven, or 3.14, okay? So you're gonna come over here and try to plug it in here. Is it 22 divided by seven, multiplied by five, multiplied by five? And that's going to be equivalent to 22 multiplied by 25 divided by 7. And when you use your calculator to do that, you can get 78.57 centimeters squared. All right. So what are we going to do? We are going to right now subtract the area of this circle from the area of the square. Okay. So the square has all this area. So when we take out the area of the circle, we're going to get 65.43 centimeters squared. Okay, 65.43 centimeters squared is going to be the area that is shaded on the board here for me. All right, so guess what? We leverage the concept of the area of circles to calculate the area of the shaded portion of that object on the board. Wasn't that fun? Did you enjoy that? Well, I hope, I sure hope you did. All right, so go ahead and turn to page number 206. There are other exercises over there and explanations to help you better retain what we talked about today. I want to thank you for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. your hero's body and as you study with heroes born I will be your friend so don't you